Hello and welcome to our channel all about home electronics. In this video we're going to compare two types of subwoofers. On the left is the passive and on the right is the active. Now if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. We'll be right back after this short message. So the chances are good you already know that a subwoofer reproduces the low frequency sounds in an audio track. What does that mean? Well in an action movie when there's an explosion you're going to hear and feel the loud boom. Depending on whether you have a passive subwoofer or an active subwoofer it's going to determine how uh, thumping and thundering and uh, enjoyable that boom is. In the most simple terms the, the difference between the two types is whether it contains an amplifier or it doesn't. The passive one, the one on the left, does not have an amplifier in it and the active one, the one on the right, does have an amplifier in it. So let's explore why the differences might be important to you. Now you're looking at the back of the passive subwoofer. As you can see it's simply connected to another unit via this relatively small um, speaker wire. So it gets its power and its audio signal from another main unit. Now one of the benefits is that this type of system is going to be less costly. Uh, one of the downsides is that because of the short wire you're only limited to where you can place the subwoofer in the room. But most people will tell you ideally you want the subwoofer right under the TV or to the right or left of the TV but as long as it's in front of you. Now looking at the active subwoofer you notice that the size uh, and shape is different. That doesn't necessarily mean anything other than in this case we know that it has an amplifier built in. So the weight of the active subwoofer on the right is considerably heavier than the weight of the passive subwoofer on the left. Most active subwoofers like the one pictured on the right of your video screen here require two wires. Of course one is electrical for the amplifier that's built in and the other is the audio signal wire which comes from a main unit like uh, AVR or a home theater receiver. So because of that audio wire connection you do also have some limitations where you can place it but with the wireless version like the one we're showing right now it could be placed anywhere both perform almost equally as well. We use the word almost because occasionally there might be an interruption of the wireless audio signal from the main unit to a wireless subwoofer. Now when you compare the performance of both types of subwoofers here's what we find and this is only our opinion. The passive subwoofer while it definitely enhances uh, and brings out the bass and the thump in a movie or music it doesn't do it as well as the active subwoofer. The active subwoofer is going to give you, in our opinion, a much more rich uh, thumping bass, a much more enjoyable audio track. So look, if you like this video, again, please give it a thumbs up. Have a great day and we appreciate you stopping by.